Diary entry number one. These are all real raw and uncut, by the way. I'm going to bed. I took my makeup off already. <laughs> Today is Friday, April 21st in London. It's 12.30 a.m. in the morning. I should be sleeping, but I'm doing this. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go through training. Today I'd give myself, in terms of effort, an A. <laughs> but in terms of how it went, probably like a B plus because I was kind of dehydrated during my training today. I had, we got up early and, and did compound lifts, which always is like meh. I hit like 165 for sets of six squats when I should have hit 175, but like my hips were not ready for that. And like my body was just kind of tired from jet lag. So B plus for how it went, A for effort. My macros today was a high carb day. And I would say that I give myself a B plus for that too. <laughs> I'd probably give myself like an eight out of 10 on that because I didn't weigh everything and we were out all day. So I had to estimate pretty much my entire day. But I definitely think I came within range for the most part and it was a high carb day. So something in my head seems to think that those aren't as strict as low carb days, but they should be. <laughs> energy, I had good energy all day. It's only been a week and a half, so that shouldn't really be a problem right now. Hunger, I was actually pretty hungry today. Hunger levels are probably like higher than usual. I started getting hungry like pretty quickly into the into the cut, but that's normal when you're first starting. Your body, my body anyway, feels it right away and it's just like, you're hungry. So I also didn't drink that much water today. So water, I'd give myself like a five because fail. And then how I look, like, I actually feel like I look like I'm progressing and just tightening up in general. It's only, again, it's only been, what's it been, two weeks now? Oh, it's been 10 days now. 10 days, 11 days, 11 days now. I feel like I'm 11 days into a diet in terms of how I look. Diary entry for the day done. I'm 37.8. It was actually 137.4, but I just had some water and coffee, so, yeah. Morning update, I am in DC. It's Brian's last day here and we are driving starting today, so we're so excited. I wanted to update you guys. I haven't weighed myself since I left for London and I weighed 138 or something like that. And then I think I started at 139 and now 137. So I'm down two pounds. I think it's been two weeks, something like that, I forget. I don't even know, but it's actually working and I'm down two pounds, so my body's responding really well. Usually I don't really respond that well the first few weeks and I kind of just like have to put in a lot of work until I see noticeable changes or changes on the scale. Like I can feel that I look better and man, you can't really tell because no bra. Anyway, I feel like I look better. Energy is pretty good. Um, I'm definitely a little hungry, but I think it was just a lot of energy expenditure in London at the expo, walking around all day, doing lots of stuff. So training today, I haven't done it yet, but I uh, I think I skipped over jet lag completely. Like whatever, however my travels were set up yesterday, I was able to just, I feel really well rested when I woke up this morning. So update, good, good update. <laughs> what is going on? Diary, just checking in with you guys. It is when? Thursday. It's Thursday. And I'm currently in Colorado Springs, Colorado. We just spent 16 hours driving and I tracked my macros today, but I didn't really. Energy levels, I'm pretty good, I'm feeling good. I don't really feel tired at all yet. Not really anticipating feeling tired for quite some time. Hunger levels are moderate, but they're not that bad. We were in the car all day, sitting all day, super sedentary. I had two bite meals blondies, three bite meals bite five cookies, two bite meals pancake meals, and then a bunch of Brian's insomnia cookies cookie. I had like two bites of it, but it was really good. And I probably hit a little bit over my macros. Oh, I also had Chipotle. I had some vegetables today, guys, but I'm traveling across the country and it's hard to eat micros and stuff all the time, but we've managed to have a salad, vegetables at least once a day on this trip, regardless of the fact that I've eaten protein bars and protein snacks um, quite often. But I didn't, we didn't train today, but uh, I got a training session in yesterday. I completely drank like no water today, which is horrible, but we didn't want to like keep stopping forever. I had some coffee and water, but not like enough. Then I think that's all I had to update you guys on. I don't know where my progress is at because last time I checked, we were in DC. Weighed myself at Brian's, that was my last update, and I was 137. 
probably like holding water right now, but like I don't know what I weigh, but I still feel pretty good. I feel really, I felt like really good like two days ago. I forgot to check in with you guys, but I'm feeling good on the cut. I'm like, I'm in a good mood. I'm happy, very happy. Check in with you guys next time. A gallon done. This is the first day that I've had a gallon of water <laughs> in like two weeks, but today I feel really good. It is almost midnight on Sunday night. I'm gonna weigh myself in the morning. First time weighing myself in about a week. Um, energy levels feel wonderful. Feel like honestly awesome. Really good night's sleep. Really relaxing day, catch up day. My macros were pretty on point today. I would probably say they were an 8.5 as opposed to like a seven. I don't know how, whatever, it doesn't matter. Today I had a lot of health, which was wonderful. I had vegetables four times today, I think, three or four times. And I also had fruit and I had a green juice and I had like health as opposed to just a bunch of protein bars from the trip, which is great. I feel like completely rejuvenated. I had an amazing, amazing training session today where I did squats, cardio, felt awesome. Like I just feel really good overall and I feel really good to like check in with my coach tomorrow. And yeah, this is gonna be my last diary entry for this, this four weeks. And then the next thing you're gonna see is the full recap. So thanks for watching. Here is everything else, an update on my cut. the little diary style of video that this was. I had a really good time documenting how I was feeling throughout the cut and each day obviously you saw was different. I didn't feel 100% the entire time but I also wanted to show you guys like the good times and the bad times and just tell you guys a little bit about how I was feeling. So that being said, just a little recap about how the last four weeks have went. You guys saw in the last clip that my newest low weigh-in is 136.2. I've only weighed myself like three times this whole entire cut only because I was traveling and I don't wanna focus on the scale that much. I wanna focus on how I feel, but I definitely feel like the cut has been working. Like even without weighing myself, I just knew because my clothes fit better, I feel more confident. Taking selfies definitely way more often with like, I just feel so much less like I had that little extra on me and honestly I could probably just stop the cut here and feel great, but I'm still gonna finish and go through with it. But now I know I kind of just, I, I feel like my body responded so well because I took so much time off and I feel like it just, I'm not focusing so much on it. I'm not stressed about it at all. Like with the prep and with like a dieting phase that was more serious in the past, it was just so much focus on the cut itself and being so on point that now I'm just, I'm not like super on point. As you can see, like I um, don't weigh everything. Like I haven't even, I barely use a food scale like every so often I do. I just estimate a lot of the time. I eat out all the time, like at least once a day and I'm not super restricting myself or anything. Like I'm still enjoying all the foods that I really like. I might not be going to get burgers and pizza and drinking wine and stuff like that, but I will eventually when like the time comes up and if I have a chance to and I feel like I've made enough progress, like I feel like I've made a decent amount of progress at this point where I wanna keep going, but in a few weeks I can definitely just enjoy myself at some point. I'll probably do that when I'm in Toronto. If you guys live in Toronto, I'm going to the Toronto Pro Show with bodybuilding.com and I'm so excited about it. I've never been to Toronto, so if you guys live there, I will be there and I'll likely be enjoying myself in Toronto because it's in a few weeks. Aside from that, like I said, three pounds down since I started, I was 139 point something and now I'm like 136.2, which is good progress. Regardless, I feel great in my own clothes, in my own body, I feel just so much better. I am so energized all the time, guys. Like, it's only one month in, but like I said in the beginning of the cut, I was like, I usually feel a few weeks into a cut much more energized. I feel like I wake up earlier, I wake up more naturally. 
I am naturally eating more fruits and vegetables just because I want to nourish my body and leave it feeling really good with the lower calorie mods that I have and I'm just like more focused on health as opposed to just eating whatever now because I'm, I'm just more focused now so it's just better overall drinking more water I feel so much better training's going really well like training wasn't the best with traveling because like sitting so much sitting so much lower back rubs but they're not that bad because I focus so much on my mobility guys like every single you don't see it in every single video but I do like 10 to 15 minutes of mobility every time before I do squats or deadlifts and like I just have to or else my back does just not feel good because I'm just sitting so often with what I do in the driving and the flying and everything so training is decent you guys saw in this video that i also hit um, a higher conventional amount in my last training session so i did 165 i usually kept things at 155 or so for conventional so things are going up strength's going up energy's up weight is down feelings are good everything's positive i'm excited and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed like the full recap um, let me know by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I don't know if you can read this in the right way or not because the way I'm viewing it, it's completely backwards. I tried, <laughs> whatever. And then I'm gonna be doing this once a month. So the next recap you guys will see will be at the eight week mark of my cut and I'm doing 12 weeks only. So it'll be eight weeks in. I'll let you guys know exactly how it's going down. I'll do more diary entries. Let me know if you want to see anything else with this kind of video, because I will be doing this again. So anyways, I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Mwah.